welcome back to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we're looking at Aftermath, a 2021 haunted house film starring Ashley Green of Twilight fame. Before we get started, please give this video a like, make sure to subscribe to our channel as well. Don't forget to haunt that bell icon so you can be notified of all our latest releases. Alright, let's get ghost hunting. The film starts off with Kevin coming home and trying to be intimate with his wife Natalie, but then getting into an argument. Turns out she cheated on him and their marriage is broken. During the day, he cleans apartments, usually after crime scenes, and one day finds a house he recently cleaned to be the perfect place to start over. They decide to move in and get back to their lives. Natalie is a fashion designer and gets called to make some fancy new clothes for a big show while Kevin goes back to school and makes a new friend. Things seem to get better between them, they even manage to have sex again. Then spooky stuff starts happening around the house. One night, Natalie claims she was attacked and that there was definitely something in the house, but the police and Kevin find nothing. It's all chalked up to her having a nervous breakdown pretty standard haunted house storytelling. Kevin has been spending a lot of time with his female friend from school, which is making Natalie jealous. So the couple decide to go out for a night and have Natalie's sister house sit and watch their dog. The sister is attacked, of course, and ends up missing. Natalie gets mad when they get home because her sister is often a flaky person and just thinks that she never even bothered to show up at the house. The next night, they have dinner with Natalie's mom, whom she also doesn't get along with. Bad vibes are exchanged, but before the mom can leave, Kevin's car is set on fire. Someone screams at them that they aren't welcome here and speeds off in another car. The next day at the police station, they talk to the detective, but can't identify anyone. Natalie goes to talk to the woman who sold her the house to find out what happened. Apparently, their younger brother killed himself after killing his wife. The reason for this was that because he cheated on her often, then she decided to get revenge by cheating on him with some mysterious guy. And boom, it all came to a head. Natalie is then approached by the other brother, who wants to buy the house back and gets kind of aggressive about it. Maybe he was the other lover? Dun dun dun! Meanwhile, Kevin is at the park with his school friend, and his dog collapses. He takes it to the vet and finds out it's been poisoned. Later that night, someone breaks into the house, and Kevin and Natalie run around trying to catch whoever it is, but they find no one. When the cops come, Kevin blames it all on stress, while Natalie freaks out on him that since her affair, he never believes anything she says. The next night, while Kevin is out of the house, someone breaks in again, resulting in Natalie falling off the balcony into the pool. Kevin makes it home just in time to save her from drowning. The cops arrest the brother of the woman who sold them the house, finding out that he's been mouthing off on a blog about them and thought that they ripped him off for getting the house so cheap. He swears, however, that he never attacked her, just messed with their stuff and hurt the dog. He gets hauled away and the couple go back home. A bunch more arguments happen and again Natalie is alone, taking a bath when suddenly a man living inside the walls comes out and kidnaps her. It's the previous owner's wife's lover. Apparently he's just been living in the walls for some reason. She tries to convince him to let her go when Kevin comes home. Fight breaks out, eventually he's stabbed in the throat with a pair of scissors and the cops come. The couple move out the next day, the end. This movie was kind of hot garbage. I can't give it more than a 4 out of 10 for some of the worst acting and lack of suspense, even in a horror film. And the plot twist is dumb as hell. It was done far better in the film The Boy. There is almost no redeeming factor to this film. It's almost as if it was one of those low budget, straight to dollar bin releases. I highly suggest you just skip this one. Thanks for checking out our video. Please give it a like, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to contribute to our channel growth, please check out our Patreon, which is linked below in the description. You can also reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or chat with us on Discord, 
also linked below. I've been your host, Jackie K. And before I go, sometimes things are just a disappointment. Not everything can succeed, and that's okay. As cliche as it may sound, you just gotta dust yourself off and try again. Take a different approach. Learn from what went wrong and improve upon it. Thanks again, and take care. Thank you.